What's up, guys? Let's stay the car back with part two of uh, my old diecast collection, which might also feature Matchbox. So here's the first one, the custom Corvette, fully blue carded from the early 90s and not 1994-95 when they started to have blue cars and then they would transition and have white down here on the bottom. But this is cool though, this is a nice custom Corvette though. Um, I've only had this for at least, I think a year or two. I got this maybe at a Hot Wheels meet. Such a fantastic piece of it and it has the Hot Wheels logo on the window. Pretty cool though. Alright, next up from 2006 from the Redline series, the 1969 Firebird. Um, I had one of these in pink way back then, but my dad told me to get this in the nice blue. Um, I found this at a flea market a month ago. The red lines, the red line, um, the red line on the uh, wheel though makes it look very cool though. Even in this nice blue color, I like it a lot. From 2005 first editions, we have the Formulator with the uh, faster than ever one wheels. Um, just recently though, I went to a Target and then uh, Hot Wheels finally. Uh, they had the custom auto in the uh, main lines um, with the faster than ever one. It was, I think, in this exact same color. I'm not going to be digging into my clear bin of uh, open Hot Wheels and finding it. But this is really cool, though, and a nice purple, though. It is nice, though, and I love the faster than ever one wheels. Even the faster than ever two wheels. Next up, from 2001, Lotus Elise 340R. This is a very cool casting, somewhat uh, somewhat of an uh, underrated one, but I, I love the 340R. I love it in red, and I have another one of these packaged in blue, and the reason why uh, some cards might start to fade into, uh, into this kind of color is because they're made in China, so if they were made in Malaysia or Thailand, it would still be clear, but because these are, this particular 340R was made in China, the card tends to fade into a uh, dusty brown color then I have uh, next up two pairs of Lancia Stratos models and a nice gorgeous red the difference here is that there's some tempos on the top and there isn't on the on this model but I love the Lancia Stratos really cool though more recent Lancia that came out was the uh, orange shredders, but I think that was uh, from a uh, mystery models Mystery models 2019 I believe All right next up 1999 first editions 360 Medina in that lovely red um, This is a very very nice car though, but I like the I like the gray 360 Medina that I showed you off in part one Better, but this red one looks pretty nice though and uh, back then with some of these uh, Ferraris though, they might have a sticker as well. But uh, on the back here it says license by Ferrari. Uh, it, it's kind of bad though that uh, we haven't had Ferrari getting licensed by Hot Wheels enough ever since 2014 or 15. Last time I checked, I think it probably was 2014 or 15 because the last ever Hot, uh, Ferrari release they did was a five pack and then Ferrari was no more. From the Future Fleet 2000 series, we got the Chrysler Thunderbolt. Now, some of you Hot Wheels Highway 35 fans might have seen this in the movie or in the game. I never played the game. I've I've just seen a lot of the movie, but I love this Chrysler Thunderbolt. Nice concept car. Don't have a lot of these though, but this is my first package to Chrysler Thunderbolt. And then from 1995, got the Ferrari F40 with the gold <laughs> metal speed. Basically, they're just talking about the gold wheels and then how it's all metal with the metal body, metal base. It's it's cool, though, because it also has the opening back, so you can see the engine and whatnot. <clears throat> all right, next up, 2004 first editions from the Blaine series. We got a Cadillac Escalade. Back then, in 2004, I think I had like two of these, but I'm I, I'm glad though I have this this one in the package. Yeah, some of these are just dusty. Boy, I got the 
got these nice uh, wheels. I don't really think uh, Hot Wheels uses those anymore. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, we have the 70 Plymouth Barracuda. I have a couple of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the package. But this one being just red and having a red, red interior and then having a chrome uh, plastic base. This uh, it looks pretty nice though. Alright. From 2000. Yeah, 2000. Man, this was at a Kmart for 75 cents. We got the Pikes Peak Celica. Um, we haven't had a Pikes Peak Celica in a, in a while. I don't remember the last time they ever... Uh, they had a Pikes Peak Celica release, but I have a lot of these though. Yeah, it's a nice car for two reasons: because of Rod Mullen made it famous, and because number two, it just looks so good though. I mean, seriously, they're just looking at the Celica. It looks very nice though. All right, <clears throat> so we have the Speed Blaster from the Tony Hawk series. So other than the uh, other than the combat medic, we have Speed Blaster. I have one of these, but it's open, but I'm glad I have this in the package. And this was when I think in mid or late 2000, they started to have uh, this kind of uh, artwork, I believe. From 2003, this might have been, this might be an international you know that there's a part right there and it can just easily pop off. From 2003, from the Final Run series, we have the GM Lean Machine. Now, not a lot of people are really big fans of this, but I'm kind of a big fan of the GM Lean Machine just because of how futuristic it, it looks. It kind of looks like an, uh, you know, a jet fighter. But, I mean, it's cool, though. Looks a little bit uh, messed up, but that doesn't matter. The car still looks good in the package in it. I don't know. It's pretty nice, though. And on the back here, I think I have, uh, I have a few of these, almost half, half of the 03 Final Run models, but it's a cool model in my opinion. Um, Alright, also from 03 First Editions, or <laughs> from the 03 Final Run series, we have the Dodge Charger Daytona. Now, I love this model. I've, I know some of my friends uh, also love this model because it's a genuine classic, but, um, Got the nice special, uh, well, got the nice flames or the tribals and stuff. Really nice, uh, it's really nice though. We still see the, the, the Dodge Charger Daytona or the Roadrunner, just not in this particular casting anymore. No, I would be saving these for last, but last but not least. Hot Wheels Accelerators, oh boy. So, uh, I got these from a good friend of mine. Here from Metal Manix, I'd be ratified. I think this might have been in the movie. Tech, we got the Drift Tech. That's a really nice car, though, as well. And then the Silver RDO 3. I paid it at least 40, 45 bucks for just three of these. But these things, these things go up in value, though, and a lot of people really want them. But I like them, though. They got the six and five spoke Komold wheels. And I remember watching watching these on a Cartoon Network's Toonami block. So that's pretty cool. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Part 3 will come soon. Later.